U.S. President Joe Biden arrived in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, hoping to tackle a host of issues, from global oil production to confronting Iran, but almost immediately drew criticism for this moment, a fist bump with the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. U.S. intelligence believes the prince, also known as MBS, ordered the murder of the American-based Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. MBS denies involvement. Respect to the murder of Khashoggi, I raised it at the top of the meeting, making it clear what I thought of it at the time and what I think of it now. In a news conference, Biden said he addressed the journalist's murder with the prince. He basically said that he, uh, he, he was not personally responsible for it. I, I indicated I thought he was. And insisted he'd never remained silent on the subject of human rights. The visit to the kingdom was always going to be a delicate one. As a presidential candidate, Biden called for Saudi Arabia to be made a, quote, pariah on the global stage, a sentiment he said he did not regret. I don't regret anything that I said. What happened to Khashoggi was outrageous. But Biden now needs Riyadh and other key oil producers to raise output as global fuel costs soar. The Saudis share that urgency. And based on our discussions today, I expect we'll see further steps in the coming weeks. Jeddah hosts a larger gathering of Arab leaders on Saturday. Biden will discuss energy security with leaders of Gulf oil producers and hopes to see more action by OPEC Plus to boost output. But U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters there were unlikely to be any bilateral announcements from the talks. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.